and take a student from square one and walk them through to these finished pieces that they can't quite believe that they're capable of executing. We teach kids how to really pay attention, visually, but also intellectually. They need to be awake. And here our students leave the school not just with the capacity to produce art, but with an entire intellectual underpinning and training in critical analysis. It's something that's teachable. They will teach you to draw and to learn how to do art. They make you think about it and talk about it. And really help you with your ideas. This green is like electric. I mean, the yeah. symmetry and stuff is working really, really well. You might want to embrace the irregularity of the edge and make it even more irregular. Our teacher is awesome. Mm -hmm. Like he's an extremely talented artist. It's crazy. And he says like, paint like a jungle cat. And he'll like <laughs> make all these like cat movements. <laughs> really should go darker right there. You've got this sort of, this value close to the sphere and then this, but then there's that white halo. I'm in the foundation in art class. The cross hatching was definitely a new thing for me. I've always done shading for everything, but it's a new thing and I'm really liking it. We have so much opportunity. There's so many classes. There's so many different things you can do and it all starts with the foundation in art class. <laughs> The foundation course was created to give every student the concrete skills to be successful. Empowering is one thing that we do through teaching the skills. They're going to be bold, they're going to be 3D. That can be rendered a little more softly and I think it'll be quite interesting. So what you need to do is sort of like weld this together. Let the blade come to a stop before you raise it up. Sometimes if you raise it up quickly, the blade will still be spinning and the teeth will grab the piece of wood and go bang and hit it and it'll fly out. I like the process. I like to see the image and then take the picture and then going through the whole developing process and then finally coming out with the full print. You can express yourself in so many different ways. Like you don't have to take photography, you can take painting or you can take sculpture or the many other classes we have. So it's the same three variables that you guys are doing with your camera. How's it look? It's really nice to hear the kids say, this is a class I look forward to every day. A little bit softer? Yeah, a little bit. Because it's a lot of blue right now. You're like, I did that. That is, that's nice. The Academy Art Program has really helped me get there. And it's been like a great path for me to take. Do art. Do art. <laughs> Always do art. All the time. Every day. <laughs> Thank you.